Okay, y'all. This is your day's review for September 18, 2015. And, um, it was good. It was alright. Good little episode. We got our Gabby back. She's out of prison now. We got Gabby back. We all happy about inside of that. You know that Gabby's out of prison now. She can be with her daughter since Will then fucked up his relationship with his marriage for being a whore. So, yo, we back. I mean, yeah, she's back. Glad to have her back. Y'all, excuse me, I'm sweating. But we glad to have her back. And, um, well, but first we get off the Ben and Abigail, you know. They're looking at what the mad people do, you know. Looking at, um, marriage, uh, I mean, Bridal Magazine, looking at all like, the different trips, the menus, this, that, and the other. Best of they sitting there doing that, discussing, talking. And so I think they're planning on, you know, getting married during the Bicentennial Tour or after. Suddenly they were seeing some bullshit they were seeing. But they're planning on getting married, good for her. That's ill. And that's a big ass if, and she can stay the fuck away from um Chad like when her two get married. And um another thing I want to touch on about Abigail. Abigail, you better keep him away from some of them appointments, uh, Mama, cause you don't want him to know too many of your goddamn business about your appointments, cause you know that baby that you all of a sudden mystically got pregnant and you know, got mad I mean got pregnant. So I, if I was you, I keep him the fuck away from the arm when they tell him when the baby do and when the baby was to see. Cause Big can add that shit up and knock your ass out the water and wonder if that baby his or not. But that's nothing here nor there. That ain't none of my goddamn business she a whole so she'll work it all I guess. Maybe, possibly Whatever, that's her business. Um, then we get to Chad and Marlene, and she finally, you know, hypnotized him or whatnot. And so he's on the hypnosis, and he starts finally remembering stuff, which is good. The good, the bad, the ugly, I don't care. Just give it to us. Let us know if you killed um, those girls or not. But this... Let, just please remember something, at least something, at least, you know, give us something, please. So he's on the spell and whatnot. And Marlena answered him questions about what they were drinking. Him and Serena was drinking, doing shots, he says. Then he went in to get a kiss and she slapped the wind up, slapped the shit out of And that was a wind up slap she gave him. And basically after that, he said, if I can't have her, I'm, he, he basically said in his um, thing, he said or whatnot, and he also said while he was in hypnosis, that something, an uh, arrogant man, I forgot what the fuck he said. I think he said, she the prettiest girl alive, and I want her, and I, oh yeah, that she's the prettiest girl he ever met or whatnot, and he want her, and he gonna get her. Basically, he was saying, like, he want her. He want to have sex with her. He want her that night, whatever. And that's where it went out at, where he started talking and mumbling or whatever. Okay. So then we get to Abigail and um, Ben again. And, you know, there was kissing or whatnot. I guess get ready to have sex again. What's new about them always fucking, always having sex, always naked. Or kissing or whatever, so far, whatever they always doing. So basically, that was another doing that Abigail was, you know, on top of him, getting her to call to him. And she said, Oh, the baby kick. And she's like, And he like, being say, Really, really, the baby kick? He went to touch the baby, you know, to see the baby kick. The baby would never kick for the goddamn world. Hmm, I wonder why the baby wouldn't kick again. It ain't no mystery why that baby didn't kick again. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, okay, then we get back. Okay, before that or after. I'm not sure before or after. But I'm going to see on Abigail and Chad, uh, Chad Abigail and Ben thing again. And you know they making promises. 
saying, you gonna do this, and I promise you I'll stay away from Chad, this, this, all in the other, all these wonderful lies she basically feeding Ben, to only pump his head up for how long, two minutes, and then he'll want to around Chad again, so basically she was feeding him lies, and they both were feeding each other, oh gee, lies, and so... They were feeding it. She was feeding him lies. Best to tell him that she promised him that she going to love him. This all and the other one. I don't really care about that. So we going to skip that. Oh, yeah. Then we get back to Rafe and um, Rafe, Will, and Gabby, her daughter. I mean, Ari, her daughter. And so, yeah, we get back to them or whatnot. And there was that lunch at Club TDB, and Gabby was eating like she ain't ate in, uh, in years. Uh, she was a little fucking up that food, though. That was funny, though. It was kind of cute, though. Uh, she was sitting up there, you know, eating. She, I'm pretty sure she had ever was hungry. She was glad to get a decent meal. Like, you know that shit they feed you in jail and in prison ain't worth shit anyhow. So, you know, she just sitting there eating. And Ray brought up the subject about, no. She started, yeah, Ray started talking about, like, where you going to stay at or whatnot and so forth and have you. Like, where you're going to stay, like, where you going to stay. You want to stay with me? You can. I got a place that I can stay in. And so that friend got there, and Gabby said, no, 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 no. No, Ray, I want to stay with Will and um, Sonny again. And they don't mind me having it. So all of a sudden it got quiet, and Gabby like, what? What, 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 what's going on? What's going on? Something happened? Or whatever. Basically, Will dumbass didn't tell Gabby that him and Sonny basically then broke the hell up. They both of them broke the hell up. Basically, their marriage is done. It's over. He didn't tell her ass that. So now she's out the goddamn loop wondering where the fuck she going to stay at. Because she thought she was going to stay with Will and Sonny again. And that mean that's easy access to her daughter or whatnot. So she thinking she was going to go back and stay with Will and Sonny. And so Ray finally got Ari. He made us some ice cream. He politely got Ari. Got Ari lift up and left. And so Will... And so Will was there by long to tell Ari what he should have told her ass a long, long time ago. That his marriage is in the rocks. He going through some things. And that you welcome to stay. Basically, you might well let her stay with you, shit. Since Sonny ain't staying with you no more, shit. Why don't you go ahead and let her stay with you then? Might as well. And so, um... So basically, Wills goes on to tell me when Gabby said, when Gabby asked, what, why, what happened? You know, what happened between you and your relationship? Will goes in to say that it's all Paul's fault, basically, that him and son relationship is going to hell. No, 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 Will. It is not all Paul's fault. Paul has some responsibility in this shit, but your ass is the main responsibility why that relationship is going to shit. God, you shouldn't have had sex. You cheated on that man not once, but twice. Then you went around making up all kind of goddamn lies, making up shit, trying to make Paul look like the goddamn bad guy. When you know Paul wasn't the goddamn bad guy this whole entire goddamn time. And then you went on to play some more games. And then to come out while you were playing your little games and your little schemes, Sonny found out you cheated on him the second damn time. So how the hell can you blame Paul for all your relationship going to hell? No, buddy. You need to look at yourself in the mirror. That's all on you, buddy. It is not on Paul, and it's not on, it's not on Paul. So you can go on with that bullshit trying to say it's all on Paul, but it's not on Paul. Well, I've been waiting to get on your ass for the longest, and you finally gave me the opportunity. You gonna keep on playing this shit that power is supposed for you and son of that shit going to hell. I'm gonna cuss you out every goddamn video. You need to man up and tell them people and stop motherfucking lying about that shit. You know that shit, you know that, that shit went to shit because of your ass. Not Pastor Paul, 
Your power didn't tell you to sleep with him. You could have told him no. You think you're the only man in America or the only woman in America that had somebody hit on them? I guarantee you they told them, hell no, get the fuck away from me. I'm married. I'm, I'm happy where I'm at. No, your ass couldn't resist Paul. That's all that was. You started catching feelings for Paul's ass. And your ass decided to sleep with that man. Sonny, I met that man decided to sleep with you. decided to sleep with that man. Yes, that man was seducing you and whatever. So have you. Or so have you or whatever. Yo, that was your time to shut his ass down. You chose not to shut him down. And you slept with that man. So, don't go blaming no bullshit on Paul, um, Will. So you can go on with that bullshit trying to blame Paul for your your, your problem with your, with your marriage and your relationship with Sunday. Because it ain't happening this time, Will. You need to learn to take responsibility for your damn self, like Marlena was telling you. You need to own up to your shit. You done cheated on that man two times. Hell, I would have left your ass too and went out the country too. You done cheated on me two goddamn times. Will, don't you start this shit trying to act like you the victim in this... And this Paul and Sonny thing, because you is not the victim. You is fought for the motherfucking victim. And don't you start that shit, Will. Because you know you you did not have to put on your pants and you did not have to have sex with that man. You chose to do that, not once but twice cheating on Sonny. And Sonny a good ass man and you did not have to do that. And Paul didn't come between you and Sonny. You came between you and Sonny. Because your ass can't keep your pants up. Okay, then we get the, I'm sorry, I got mad there for a second, because Will pissed me off with this whole shit, like he the goddamn victim in this damn, and his marriage between, and his doomed relationship between him and Sonny, he pissed me off with that shit, though. I'm sorry, I got off guard, but I'm finna get back on guard. Okay, then we get the Abigail, she starts that hun being sleep or whatever, and she start to have... Like, you know, nightmares of Chad going to prison or fear to go to jail or whatnot. And she like, no, 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 don't send him out to prison. No, 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 don't send him out to jail. She basically freaking out like a girlfriend and do a day boyfriend and they boyfriend a uh, husband went to prison. Basically, the breakdown, I was she basically was doing in this dream. And she woke up in a cold sweat and being asked, so what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I guarantee you she ain't had the balls to tell her. I bet guarantee you she ain't had the balls to tell Ben what the fuck she was dreaming about. I bet she shut the fuck up. Good job. Okay, then. Last scene of the day where we... Ooh, excuse me. And so the last scene is where we get the, um, oh, excuse me for a minute. Okay, the last scene, we get the Chad. So when he got out of hypnosis for Marlena, he basically went home. She knocked him out. She knocked him out. Um, got him out of the hypnosis. So he went home. And after he went home, it's like the floodgates finally started blowing down for him. Like everything that night, it completely came back to light, which is good. Now Chad remembering everything from that night. He basically remembering the most important basis of that night that Serena died. Basically, he was having a vision again from that night, and he basically remember my, remember on uh, Serena drank him and Serena drank and taking shots. She tried to kiss him. He didn't like that, and she slapped the shit out of him while his lip got busted. And then he remember way Clyde, and he remember that night he talked to Clyde. Clyde walked up to him, and um, Clyde walked up to him, and you know, like he's. Him and Clyde got into it, and he told Clyde to go away. So now he wondering, did somebody spike his shit? And that person he remember at that night, that apostle do some shit like that, is Clyde, which is good, because he was also on the phone talking about, you know, what drugs, you know. Basically about what drugs I can, like a, a um, drugs that can, you know, make you lose your memory, make you have blackouts. He better was talking about some pills or some prescription or whatnot that'll knock you out and um make you don't remember nothing. 
So, and so on to that, then he went on to have no vision. And the last person he remembers seeing is Clyde. I told y'all, I told y'all, I told y'all. Clyde got something to do with this bullshit. Clyde killed them three peoples, them two people. And the Salem killer is Clyde. I put bank on that. That is Clyde that killed them people and blaming it all on church. I'm blaming. I got bank. I put bank on Clyde trying to set um Clyde trying to set Chad up for murder. How much you want to bet this whole shit going on cost of Clyde? And Clyde is the Salem killer. And this the goddamn kids. I hope we feel to get ready to get rid of Clyde. That'll be wonderful. That'll be awesome. I guarantee you. If Chad keep on thinking to go back through it, I guarantee you, his last person he talked to was Clyde, and Clyde spiked this shit that night, and had him, made him black out that night. Game down to you, it was Clyde ass that then sought that boy up for murder, and he the Salem killer. I always said that. But yeah, that's about all I got for you today. Follow me on Twitter at Sin One Andreas. Like and subscribe and favorite and um favorite this video and share, like and whatever. And I'll see you later. Bye.